Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Edge 30 Pro, and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So, to get started, I'm going to begin with the uh, attentive display. Uh, this is something that comes only with Motorola devices, and this allows you, or allows the phone more like, uh, to use the front-facing camera to see if you're looking at the phone. And the reason for this is it will keep the display on as long as you are looking at it. So you can, for instance, change the uh, screen timeout to be like super quick, a couple of seconds as an example, or maybe a minute or something like that. And the moment you put the phone down and not, and you aren't looking at it, it will start the countdown and then just lock the device after that timer runs out, as it normally does. Uh, but as long as you're looking at the phone, uh, so as an example, right now it's dimming right now, if I would be, if I would have that option on and I would be looking at the phone, it would not do this as long as I am looking at it. So anyway, to get it enabled, all we need to do is navigate into our settings. From there, I'm going to go into display and then scroll down to attentive display, toggle it on and allow while, uh, while using this up. Select turn on, and there we go. That's about it. That's all you need to do. Now moving on to the next option, it is uh, swipe to split. And again, it's actually located under the display section right here. Uh, so let's see, we have attentive display. There we go, swipe to split. So let's enable it. It gives us a quick guide. So you basically draw left and right. Uh, or right and left in this case. I think it works from both sides, so I'm gonna try it from here. Oops, from here as well. Unless this isn't just. Oh, it turned off. There we go. Okay, so this way I can't split the settings apparently, but it works from both sides as you can see. So let's find something that I can't split, like Chrome. There we go. And now I can open up another application and I can quickly split screen with two of them. So there we go. Okay. Anyway, moving on to the next option is the display refresh rate. Now by default, I, I believe it's going to be set to uh, the highest one or auto apparently. But as you can see, we have a couple options. So we have auto, uh, use AI uh, to allow, <coughs> to always show the uh, optimal refresh rate. And then we have 60, which is obviously the typical refresh rate of like older devices, uh, anything that was released like several years back. And 120, uh, just locked. Now for the best, uh, best of both worlds, so decent refresh rate, and also uh, some, well, battery life, I would recommend sticking with the auto uh, for people that, uh, as an example, game, uh, but the games sometimes don't really recognize it. Uh, you might want to lock it to 100 or 144. And for everybody else who is prioritizing battery life, you might want to switch it to 60. So that is basically all the options for everybody. Now for the typical Joe, uh, probably auto will be good enough, uh, which will basically automatically switch between uh, 60 or even less and 144 depending on what you're doing so that is kind of like the best option but like i said uh for other people uh, that are looking for something specific uh, these two options might be more enticing anyway moving on to the next option which is also under the display it is the dark mode so we can find it right uh, here uh, it's actually called a the dark theme and you can toggle it on whenever you want like this uh, just a hard toggle or you can also tap on the toggle which will give you the option for a scheduled toggle on and off so you can set it up so it turns on during the daytime or during the nighttime it turns on the dark mode during the daytime it has light mode so i would consider that to be at least in my opinion the best option uh, but obviously you can switch it up uh, and have it dark mode during the daytime, light mode during the, the night time, uh, if you want to. It's completely up to you, but it is a nice feature to have. So there you go, as you can see, it will now you can set up, uh, turn on at a custom time, so you can set up the time that it will start and end. There we go. So, moving on to the uh, last option, it's the system navigation. So right now I've been using the buttons on the bottom, uh, which is the typical 
and the thing that most of the phones use but you do have an option to switch it up to gestures if you want to use that under system gestures system navigation and then select gesture navigation as you can see it removes the buttons and substitute substitutes it for this bar which you swipe up to go home swipe from either side to go back though i'm already all the way back so there we go as you can see it shows up this arrow from either side which will go back and then also swipe up and hold to go to recent applications so there we go additionally it also makes the the home screen look a little bit cleaner and shifts the icon a little bit further down just because it has a little bit more space right here at the bottom so it can accommodate it so anyway uh this would complete all the tweaks that i wanted to share and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching